Hi, I'm Maria Gracia of GetOrganizedNow.com. Today, I'm going to help you get your clothes closet organized. First, strip down until bare. No, not you, your closet, silly. Remove every shirt, skirt, pair of pants, shoe, purses, hangers, everything until you can see the bare walls and the bare floor or carpet. I bet you haven't seen your closet like this in ages. Doesn't it feel wonderful? Two, visualize the perfect setup. Take a moment to think about and visualize the best way to reorganize before you put your things back. When the weather's warm, for example, I always put my short sleeve, summery shirts, shorts, and skirts all in one area of my closet and move my heavier items toward the back. If you have cubbies in your closet, perhaps you may use one cubby for hats and another one for sweaters and yet another for accessories. Would it make sense for you to add an extra clothing rod or maybe an extra shelf? Maybe you may add a hook on the back of your closet door or a full length mirror or a rack to hang jewelry. Perhaps your closet can even use a paint job. When your closet is bare, it's much easier to see the possibilities. Now is your chance. Three, put back the definites. Using that visualization we just spoke about, Return the items you wear all of the time. Did you know that when it comes to most people, 80% of what you wear comes from just 20% of the clothes you have? Four, have a fashion show. First, grab a clean, large plastic trash bag. For the remainder of items you haven't returned to the closet, try each item on one by one in front of a mirror. If there's little chance that you'll ever wear that item again, put it in the bag. This generally involves items that are too loose, too tight, too ugly, or too worn out. And that bag will be your donation bag. If you come across something that needs to be repaired, perhaps a button is missing or a hem needs to be sewn and you really like that item, either repair that item right now or bring it to a dry cleaner who can make the necessary alterations. Don't put it back in your closet until it's ready to be worn. Five, count and buy new hangers. Invest in all wooden hangers in the same type and shade of wood, or if you prefer the plastic type, all pink or all white or whatever one color you choose. You will not end up with a consistent look if you have a hodgepodge of hanger colors and styles in your closet. Since everything you're keeping is now in your closet, you'll be able to easily count how many hangers you need for skirts, shirts, pants, etc. and purchase consistent hangers accordingly. When you get them, switch out the old hangers with the new and donate or dump your old hangers. In summary, strip it down until you can see the bare walls and the bare floor. Visualize the perfect setup. Put back the definites. Have a fashion show to determine what else you're going to keep and what you're going to donate. And finally, count and buy new hangers and switch out the old hangers with the new. I hope today's video helps make your closet as organized and happy as possible. I'm Maria Gracia of GetOrganizedNow.com. Enjoy your day and remember, there's no better time to get organized than to get organized now. Oh,